Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet. And, guys, the event for the 4th of the July just began, I believe it was yesterday. I'm not 100% certain. I do know that it is the 29th today, and we have 11 days to complete it. Now, guys, I honestly have completed most every mission for this. I went through it step by step over the past few years and was able to complete it all the way up to this very last mission here and that is the holiday salutes from the Liberty Canyons where you fire the cannonballs I've only got 13 more to do but that's what I'm not really what I'm focusing on I'm just gonna go ahead and complete that because I really do want this fire cannon reel but what we are gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take you through some of this as far as the historic fish so you can take a look at them for those of you who haven't done it and uh, I'll even show you where you need to go when you first start this mission just to help you out and you can also review my past missions that I completed I will uh, make sure that I put a list I believe I have an entire list that I can pop up that I'll even put it into my um, my channel so that you can follow along if you have any difficulties but let me go ahead and jump in here in the map. Now, like I said, we just are doing this for the event. I was over at Tiber River, and we're just going to come here briefly, and we're going to go through and check out some of these historic fish, because you can still catch them, even though the missions are over, If for some of us, like myself. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump in here. I kind of wish they would, you know, maybe add to it, or come up with something different. For the people who have been doing this for a while, like myself. But we can still catch some of those historic fish, which is kind of fun. Well, let me go ahead and show you the... Here's the cannon that you can fire. And I should still have some cannonballs. But if you fire it off, a lot of times you'll get some, some gear. And you can raise the flag. And I got some fireworks, so that's cool. Free fireworks is always good. <laughs> and it'll help eventually with the Christmas mission that you're going to eventually need to be doing in, believe it or not, six months. Can you believe it's already that close? That's just crazy. That is just crazy. Yeah, uh, now for this historic fish mission, I'm gonna, I've am gonna i already got my gear set up the way I need to, but we're going to go ahead and board my Draco boat. I still had this from the last time as well. Now I just need to press E to start this engine. But what we're going to do is we're going to go across the lake over to this kind of beat up dock. And I think one of my past episodes I showed you that it was at that dock where you can see the George Washington statue and I think you could still see it even though it wasn't allow you, allowing you back there but it will allow you back there during this time period alright guys I managed to get it in here but yeah that boat's a little bit too big I should have just went ahead and grabbed the canoe but anyway we just need to jump ashore and if we here, let me go ahead and put that away and see now we can walk back here to George Washington's statue and see th this has already been pulled back where I got the prize I got all the pieces to George Washington's sword but when we first come in here you you check this thing out and it tells you what you need to do next and if I'm not mistaken you start catching historic fish 
these fish have like little little uh, coins on them or medallions or something like that and I believe I still might even have markers on here for where they are to be found but yeah this boat is kind of difficult to maneuver it wasn't going to be all that tricky to I mean kind of tricky to even maneuver on Tiber River alright we are here and I'm gonna go ahead and take the canoe instead and I think what we'll do is we'll try to see if we can't get some of the historic pike to start off with now most of the time regular pike can be found right along this bank on the, the lake itself usually amongst those reeds off the side there now I don't know how long it's going to take us to get one should be able to despite the fact that we are not actually in the mission but I am going to go ahead and throw anchor just to slow myself down here and then I'm going to lift it because guys if you are of a lower level you can use this to your advantage for catching these guys so let me go ahead and get my rod out here this is the patriotic walker and I'm gonna toss it right along here and we should be just going into the peak right about now so we shouldn't have any problem getting any action I don't know that we'll be getting the historic pike we might get others as well there's a lot of different species that feed around this time so there we go now look what it's doing to my boat <laughs> now if you're a low level you'll be able to get this fish in without any problem at all even though I am pushing my limits here and these are big fish so we're going for a ride <laughs> we are going for a ride he is going to really be a fighter too man that's okay He'll tire himself out pulling me all over the place. He's coming. I'm letting him do all the work for me. Now you don't have to do that if you're higher level like myself, but if you're worried about snapping your line and you could because these guys are pretty good size just let them wear themselves out you shouldn't have to do that with a walleye and there it is historic northern pike well, let me go ahead and get a picture of that so you guys can see what it looks like I wasn't sure if I could get it since the event wasn't going on for me but that's what one looks like can't get a real good close look I was hoping to get a better look at the little coin attached to him but he is gonna flip around way too much but that's okay we'll get a picture of him that's actually not a bad pick You know, lighting here is not the best either. All right. Yeah, you can't see that coin very well. It's he's it's actually on his tail, if I'm not mistaken. But he's so wiggling so much. All right. Now I'm gonna get out my other rod and reel set. And this is my 
Featherlight, and I've got the Rattlesnake 4 inch worm. I've got a quarter ounce 2 aught jig head on there. And we are actually nowhere close to where we need to be for these guys. We're going to need to move a little bit, so let me go ahead and let me show you where I was on the map earlier. I was right, right along here. In fact, I might even go ahead and mark it for you guys just so you can get some coordinates there. It's 115.87 minus 53.90. Historic Northern Pike. Got him in the morning. Right there. Alright. I hope that helps getting that one. So let's go ahead and go back into our boat, do a little more paddling. My gosh, that thing really dragged me all over the place, didn't it? Now for the walleye, it's not as big of a deal. We're just going to get out here a little bit more in the middle of the lake, but we mainly need to just cast out towards that cliff. And I'm going to throw the anchor this time. And this we're going to be going along the bottom. So two notches, stop and go, probably is going to be your best presentation. There we go. There we go. I'm not sure if that's... Yeah, it might be. I was going to say, I wasn't sure if it was what we were after, but it could be. It could also be just a regular one, too. And he's, he's giving me a pretty good fight, but while I do not fight like Pike do, so, like I said, that you don't really need to lift the anchor. And there it is. Now you can see the coin on him. It's right near, near his head. You couldn't see it on the pike. Plus the light's a little bit better now, so that's what they look like. Around five pounds. Again, here's a good look from the boat. Now you can actually see the coin on this guy, even from here. It's all on his back. Alright, that's that easy. Anyway guys, well go ahead and see what you can do about getting that, but before I go any further, I'll take you where that boat or that canoe should be because once you get all the fish that you need to get might help if I lift the anchor there you need to go over here and get the relic chest basically you just get something out I usually used something like uh, well the wall well the walker top of water lure won't really work very well you need something that's going to sink but a crankbait or spinner or even that worm that I just used and you should be able to if you cast it right through the center of the canoe should be able to snag it after a few tries I had a tough time the first time with the one at San uh, Quint was it San Joaquin that one I about never got snagged for some reason it was a real pain in the butt but it doesn't look like we're gonna see it anymore since we're not actually doing the mission but it's usually back in here somewhere fortunately since I'm not taking part in this I have no access to it anymore 
Yeah, I thought I saw it, but it's just a leaf. But yeah, it would be right around here, and it would be pretty obvious. Wait a minute. There it is. There it is right there. That's where it would be. Alright guys, well, I hope that helped. And again, I'm going to put up a link to my original one where I went through and caught them all. And I'm going to try to do that as much as I can because I know some of you guys want to get through this and I want to finish the last of it once and for all. And I think at the uh, final episode of this event, I'm going to go ahead and fire that last shot and finally get my reel. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.